All right, so in this video, I'm just gonna show you how to create a simple shooter game. All right, so the first step is let's just go on this um, sprite one and we will rename it Flare. Flare, and then let's go into its costumes and let's delete this one. Then this one will clear this and let's just draw a red square, not bright red, just darker red. And we're this is going to be kind of our ninja that's gonna be shooting like throwing stars and stuff at um, things that'll be popping up. All right, so um, let's just scale this down a little bit, a little bit more. This is pretty. This video is just pretty much going to show the concept of. I'm not going to go really in depth with this, but um, if you want me to make a more in depth tutorial, uh, just app, tell me in the comments. Anyway, so I'm just going to create a headband, and I'm going to fast forward through this part just so you can see kind of how to, and you can kind of make your character look as what how you want. All right, so this is just, all I did was just create a simple ninja character. And let's just go ahead and name this one right, because um, it's going to be fa it's facing right. And then we'll duplicate this and name this left. And all we're gonna have to do on the left one is we'll just flip it the other way. All right, and then we'll duplicate this and name this one up. And for this one, all we're gonna have to do is I'm just gonna delete these things because it's going to be kind of facing forward and then I'll copy this and paste it right there. This is up and then we'll duplicate this one and name this one down. Or sound, not down. I mean down, not sound. And we'll just name this one down. Alright. And on the down we'll just move its eyes down like it's looking down. Alright, so first let's just go to when flag clicks, forever. And we will say um, if if key right arrow pressed key right arrow pressed and we'll duplicate this and change this to left arrow and let's just go to motion and we will do change x by um, change x by 4 and then we'll duplicate this go over here change x by negative 4 so let's just see how that is just moving it around that's a little slow I'll change this to five five and negative five all right that should be a little bit faster yeah and then let's scale this one up a little bit all right so that's five and negative five then we will duplicate this whole thing and we will change this one to up arrow and this one to down arrow and then we will take out the change x by and switch them out with change y by we will do five and then duplicate this and change it to negative five so now we should be able to move all around the screen however we want let's I'm just gonna make this a little faster I'm gonna change this to nine negative um, nine nine and then negative nine all right so now this should be a little better yeah that's better you should be able to move fast all right there all right, so now let's go. When flag click, let's switch costume to start, or right, I mean. When flag click, switch costume to right, and then if key right arrow pressed, we will put switch costume to right, duplicate this, key left arrow pressed, switch costume to left, key up arrow pressed, switch costume to up, and key down arrow pressed, switch costume to down. All right, so now it's gonna start off, it's gonna switch this costume to the right, and then if we press the arrow keys, down arrow, up arrow, right arrow, left arrow, like this. That's not bad. All right, so pretty much what this script does is it's gonna say when flag clicked or when the game starts, it's going to um, forever, repeat this forever, and if the key on the keyboard right arrow pressed is going to change the X, which is this way, by nine, and it's gonna switch the costume to the right costume that we made, and then if key left arrow pressed, it's gonna do the same, but um, not the same. It's going to do um, the opposite up arrow, um, change Y, which is this way, by 9, and switch costumes up, and vice versa. All right, so um, so now the next step is we're going to make what it's going to shoot. So let's create a sprite, and we will call this um, bullets. Um, we will call this bullets. 
bullets and on this one let's just go over here let's just draw some ninja stars because this is a ninja I guess alright so let's go on this and we will have um, and we will just have a circle just to make the ninja stars and I'm just going to fast forward to this part you can make your ninja stars however you like Alright, so all I did for this is I just created um, a little ninja star. It doesn't look the great, the greatest, but you can make yours look however you want. And we will just call this ninja star. And then in this script, so all we're going to do is we're going to go, when flag clicked, we're going to go hide. Because we're going to want to do that. And then we're going to go forever if key space pressed. Let's go to the key, and then we need space pressed. Um, we are going to want to create a clone of ourselves. But and we don't want it to be able to create a clone of itself forever, so we're going to do to where you're going to have to, you can't just hold it down and keep shooting. You're going to have to um, take your hand off of the space bar and then keep pressing it. So we're going to go um, repeat, wait until, and then we need a knot, then we need a key space pressed. So pretty much what this is going to do is it's going to, um, it's going to create one clone of itself, and then it's going to wait until you take your hand off of the keyboard to make another. Alright, so then we're going to go to when I start as clone, and we're going to want to show, because we want it to show, not hide, and we're going to go to, and we're going to want to go to um, player, and we're going to point in direction, point in direction, um, point sorry point in direction uh, then we're going to get the exposition of sprite of bullets we're going to change this to direction of the player so let's see this real quick and it's going to point in the direction of player and it's going to oh put this in the go to point in direction not the go to okay let's see this again okay so now and also in the clone we're going to need to do forever and move t uh, uh, 10 steps let's just do this and then let's see if we switch this way if it goes okay so that's a problem it's only shooting um, one way so what we're going to have to do is in the player in the key right arrow press we're going to do point 90 degrees point direction negative 90 let's see if that changes anything so go like this. Oh, so in the left costume, we're, I'm just gonna fix this kind of like hack it or whatever. In this left costume, we're, what we're gonna want to do is we're gonna want to flip it upside down, flip it this way. So it's kind of like this. And then on this one, you're going to go like so. Let's see. It's gonna be like this, like this way, like this way, this way. And now it should be moving this way. And then if I press this way, it should be shooting this way. And if I press up, it's now I want it to, in the up arrow pressed, we want to change this to um, zero, which is up. So let's see what happens if I press up. So we need to change this costume to where it will um, go like this. And then let's just select all of this and rotate it like that pretty much do that and I'm pretty sure we're gonna have to do that for the down oh so we're gonna go like this up should shoot up down should shoot uh, let's change this to where in the down arrow pressed we want to point in direction 180 point in direction 180 All right so down so right arrow left arrow down arrow so let's see, this one in the down costume needs to be rotated this way once. There we go. Alright, so now it should not look that bad. Alright, and also whenever flag click, point direction 90 degrees. Alright, so now it's going to go like that. 
and we should be able to shoot like this. And now we want to the clones to go away whenever the the throwing stars to go away, go away whenever they hit the sides. So in this we're going to just go to if and then touching edge. Pretty simple just touching edge. We just want to delete this clone. So now it should work. And now see the clones go away whenever they um, hit the edge. All right. So that's how to make a pretty uh, basic shooter game and yeah, this is just a basic game tutorial. All right. So thanks for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.